family and today we are going to see how to make this bench in katia so let's open it first open katia then go on start then mechanical design and then part design after that write here base and it will take some time to open new window after that you have to select any plane from here and then go on sketch option from here now we have to sketch the base i am making this half part and we'll extend it to the outer side so let's make it use this profile command and make profile as it is given in figure i am making it step by step and you can also make it step by step just be careful and i have completed sketch so i am using this constraint option to give dimensions i am using all dimensions as it is given in figure distance between central axis to this external line is given as uh, 16 but i am using 16 divided by 2 because i am just sketching half side and the distance are given for full after that distance between this line uh, distance of this line this whole line is uh, given as 6 uh, not 6 it is given as 7 then distance between this external line to this external line is given as uh, 16 you can see in uh, figure distance between this line with the central axis is given as 16 divided by 2 and that is uh, uh, no 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 it's 32 divided by 2 that is 16 and after that distance between this external line to the central axis is given as 64 divided by 2 uh, now our sketch is ready it is fully in green color so select whole sketch then use this mirror option to mirror it to this side after that go on exit to workbench and now use this pad command the whole extension is given to us is of length 144 so write there 144 and click on uh, click on uh, okay after that select this plane because we have to draw another sketch then go on sketch option from here and now use this uh, no no first you have to use this projection command to project this one side and to this side sorry again and this side now both both are in yellow colors means they are projected after that we have to make our next sketch so use this profile command from here and make one uh, sketch as i'm sketching and use this tangent arc and then again extend the line now we have to do our next part we have to select this side then this side and then central axis and after that go on this constraint option not that constraint sorry constraint box i'm selecting both line and then central axis then constraint box and use here symmetry so it will be similar on both side after that let's see use this constraint option now uh, radius of this circle is given as 16 so it is 16 distance between this axis with the center is given as 36 so it's 36 now uh, next part is we have to give uh, what is the angle between both of them is given as 50 so it is 50 and now it is fully constrained so we have to use again this profile command and have to join both of this part so our entity will be completed and now one thing is remaining we have to make one circle here and make circle and give dimensions from constraint option and uh, diameter is given as 16 so our sketch is ready now after that Oh, wait a second i have to rub this mm. now again click on that double click on that uh, sketch use uh, this trim command to trim this unwanted part and now we can go on exit to workbench after that we have to use this pad command and the 
given length is of 22 but the side is reverse so use this reverse direction and then click on ok now we have to give fillet to this so use this fillet command and select the sides on which we want to give fillet and given radius is 3 then click on ok now our next part is we have to sketch on this side so select that surface then go on sketch option after that we have to you uh, first we have to again use projection command and now just project that line then use profile command and make the sketch as it is given now we have to give dimensions so use this coincide uh, so use that constraint option now length of this line but horizontally so i am just clicking on right button of the mouse and then horizontal not that use this coincide constraint select the line then right click on uh, mouse then measurement of horizontal line is given at 16 so right here 16 after that similarly select line then go here and then vertical distance is also given at 16 so it is 16 now now uh, distance between this line with that external line is given as mm, what is it's given as 36 and now the length of this line is given as 10 and now our whole sketch is in green color so it's fully constant use this trim option to trim unwanted part and then go on exit to workbench after that use this pad command and the given length is of 64 hence uh, and the direction should be reverse so use this uh, reverse and then click on ok now one part is remaining we have to give hole on this surface so first click on the hole option then click on the surface on which you want to hole after that use this projection uh, position sketch then select on sketch option from here and let's give dimensions to hole so uh, let's see mm, distance between uh, first use this coincide constraint distance between this set external length to the mm, uh, whole point is given as 38 so right here 38 after that um, distance between this external line to the center of the hole is given as 10 so right here 10 and go on exit to workbench from here and we have to select which type of uh, hole we want it should be blind and use V bottom so let's give dimension diameter is given as uh, 6 and the depth is given as uh, 10 and click on ok now our hole is here so let's use this again use this hole command from here and then select the surface on which you want to do it after that mm, mm, use this sketch option from here and then again uh, we have to use this constraint option distance between this external line to the center of the hole is given as uh, 38 plus 70 it's 38 plus 7070 after that uh, we have to give dimensions between that external line to the center of the hole and it is given as 10 after that go on exit to workbench and now similarly we have to write dimensions here and all are correct so click on ok now use this open this tree diagram select hole and then use this mirror option 
and mirror it according to this plane and after that click on ok similarly for hole 2 then again after that use this and then select plane and then click on ok this is how we have completed our whole sketch thank you so much guys for watching it